Hey, it's Dave Barr, Grand Champion of the Business Strategy Game. Uh, we're looking at the seven most frequently asked questions as per Google. I've been the Grand Champion of the Business Strategy Game for about 20 years. Um, it's been a very long time. And um, the seven questions that, that is the most frequently asked on Google is how to increase EPS in the BSG, how to increase the credit rating in the BSG, how to increase the SQ rating in the BSG, how to increase demand in the BSG, what is the best industry score for the BSG, how to increase stock price for the BSG, and how to increase the ROE in the BSG. A lot of uh, interesting questions here. Is that, uh, so the first question is how to increase EPS in the BSG. EPS as a formula is net profit, over shares outstanding. So any action that were to, what that, that would be to increase the increase, uh, any action that would increase the, the net profit in the game, such as cost savings, higher margins, volume of sales uh, of, of, of shoes sold, all of this would help increase the EPS, along with anything that would reduce the shares outstanding. It's, it's, it's that both play a factor, the greater of the two factors of K is the net profit portion of K. Uh, if your net profit is not going up or, or or high, your EPS will not look great no matter what happens. Is that is that the net profit is still definitely 80% of K and what, and what increases the EPS. Uh, so therefore is that um, net, net profit is the way to go. Uh, I often get this question about the EPS and I, People are looking for, I, I I assume, do one or two things and GPS goes up. It, it's not as simple as that, okay, is that it's it's a variety of factors. You have to you have to look at cost savings. Um and you you also have to think long term, okay. I've always increased your EPS or sorry, your net profit in the future, okay? All of which would eventually you know go towards increasing the EPS. But it's nothing that you can just do two or three things as the EPS goes up. You have to have a strategy, cost savings. And shoes being sold, okay, at, at, at profitable margins, okay, and that will uh, ha have, a, have a high uh, EPS score. Um, is that uh, how to increase credit rating in the BSG? So, credit rating is based upon your company's credit worthiness in the game. Um, in this example company that I'm looking at here, is we're sitting at a B minus, which is not the best. Uh, it's not the worst, but definitely not the best. A person would want, hypothetically speaking, an A plus credit rating. The credit rating in the BSG only matters in the last three years of the game. So in most games, it goes on until you're 20. It's 18, 19, 20. Some games go on until you're 16. That, that means it's 14, 15, 16. And it's that a company can possibly okay, focus on its credit rating and have, and have a high credit rating. And hypothetically, if they, if they were to go do that, their company will not go bankrupt. So therefore, okay, is that is that, that is a strategy. However, a person or a company manager is able to look at means at leveraging the credit rating to borrow money, to do things with it, okay, so that the company can become more profitable in the future. So therefore, is that is that in this in this scenario that I've played out, um, I've I've taken money, borrowed money from the banks, and spent it towards a variety of factors, okay, to uh, to increase the company's profitability in the future. And the whole point of the question is is how to increase credit rating. Is that the idea really would be the company in during the growth stage of the game, year eleven to fifteen, you would. Take out money to build up your business. You're building it up. Become profitable. And once you're profitable, okay, you'll have the means, okay, to go to, to, to increase your credit rating by paying down your debt. Okay. So therefore, it's, 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 so, so to increase your credit rating, you have to go pay down, you, you have to have no debt or less debt. So is that you have to manage okay of, 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 of when do you want that? If you don't want any debt, let's just say in year 11, 12, and then don't borrow anything, your credit rating will be high. But you have to, you have, to um, have low uh, debt by the end of the game so, so the credit rating is, ideally speaking, higher 
and your company has built up has built up, up a business okay that's able to afford to pay down uh large amounts of money that's truly building up a business we're not just trying to just not do anything and not take out any money okay and just have high credit rating uh that that's that's not going to get you ahead um against a truly ambitious opponent anyways um many companies don't take out any debt they do okay so you won't go bankrupt um and many companies will earn or they're, they're fine with that strategy okay there's, there's lots of strategies in the game okay so the third item is how to increase uh the sq rating um in the business strategy game the sq rating is basically controlled by three factors in the brand production area uh that is superior materials enhanced styling and features and tqm six sigma these three factors all help increase the sq of um of your shoes is that um there is another component which is best practices uh the best practices okay will also help increase uh the sq rating um not only uh in the present but also the future it will hypothetically okay build up your sq rating to a higher level uh moving forward okay um actually so can tqm but yeah so those three factors under under production Plus the compensation screen has best, has best practices. And there's also a fifth item of K, which is upgrade C in the production facilities. Okay, so th those, those are the three ways of principally increasing your SQ. Um, the fourth question is how to increase demand in the business strategy game. Now, there are a variety of factors uh, to increase demand. So let's talk about some basic ones. Price. SQ rating, models, branded advertising, retailer support, rebates, delivery time, internet price, and uh, search engine advertising, and hypothetically uh, free shipping too. Um, the, the player's guide uh, lists, I believe it's 11, it, it kind of changes, but usually it's about 10 or 11 different factors, okay? And basically all of those factors are, are placed right on the two marketing screens, internet and wholesale, and to a degree, the production screen as well, okay? Because that that, that controls your, your product uh, production there. So anything, okay, that has, has anything, to, anything to do with, with, with the product, which is like S2, models, and price, advertising, delivery time, retailer support, all of that. Play, plays a factor on what increases the, the demand. Uh, lots of factors. Uh, some factors are stronger than others. However, is that there is no factor that has the majority of the control, okay, of designing demand. Uh, arguably speaking, the most powerful factor, okay, is price point. And really, over 10 or 11 factors, maybe it's outsized at a 20% influence le level. 25 it's not half it's 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 yeah 20 25 percent um out of like 10 the factors so is that i i wouldn't say that that, that if you have a low price it's all going to make it all your your demand will increase it'll definitely increase the case but but it, it, it's a it's a it's a full combination you have, you have to have balance in your strategy okay you have to have good advertising good quality good models it all has to work together. Uh, let's see. So the next question is, what is the best industry score for the BSG? That's a very interesting question. Um, the best industry score, okay, is is when the scores is at is at the top of the board, okay, and you and you subjugate all of your opponents. Um, so hypothetically, a company who is sitting at let's just say eighty three points. And every single competitor is 60 points or like below 50, they have a lot of power. Versus a company at K that's sitting at 110 points and they have five competitors who are all above 100 points. You want to have power over your competition. It's not how many, how many, how many score points you, you, you want. Uh, every professor does grade differently. Most professors just take, take this top score. And they mark everyone against that score. Okay, so the top score is 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 like under hundred percent, and everyone else is a proration of that. There are a few professors, okay, who just look at the score and then just give give you a flat percentage, you know, as per the game itself. Um, either way, though, 
is that uh, you 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 want is that you're you're really looking at um, the overall score relative to your competition. Now, hypothetically, what could be the highest score? 110 points would be maxed out on EPS, ROE, stock price, credit rating, and image rating. Maxed out on best in the industry and uh, investor expectations. That's 110. That's basically already perfect. Now, is that there is the ability to get extra points. That's through the bullseye award, which a company could get every single year, hypothetically, if they were perfect. Not realistic, but hypothetically possible. And it's also possible to also hypothetically, very hypothetically, actually, get the uh, Leapfrog Award. So that's another 10 more points over a 10-year game. So in, in the most hypothetical of circumstances, okay, in the most contrived of, of situations, a company could, could end up with 130 points in total, which I've never seen because that's more than perfect. And you're trying to subjugate your competition, not trying to have the perfect score here. And and your competition is working against you every step of the way. Now, have I seen scores of well above 110? I sure have. Uh, it's not common because e e at 110, that already is a perfect score as per the game's concern. It's already a perfect score. But have I seen scores of 114, 118? Have I even seen up upwards of 120? Mm, it's it's happened, but those are extreme scenarios. And I'd be looking at having the high score relative to your competition and the highest possible score okay, in the world. Okay, which in theory, if your company is doing that well, you'll be on the leaderboards regardless. So it's it's not it's. I wouldn't I wouldn't put a whole lot of, you know thought into that. Uh, the next question um, is. How to increase the stock price in the business strategy game? This is so far question six. Uh, the stock price has a lot to do, okay, with the net profit. Um, basically, most of the factors do. EPS, ROE, credit rating, stock price, all directly relate, relate to net profit. Or how much money you have on hand, which is, which is still related to net profit. Um, so net profit definitely helps increase the company's stock price. The other aspect to it is that the company has to have a, a lower amount of shares. Um, those two factors combined decay will help drive up the stock price. Um, is that uh, most companies having a two three hundred two two to three hundred dollars stock price is very very high. Um, if everyone else is thinking like a hundred bucks or fifty dollars a k, uh, that you no know, like they're, they they've done very very well. But there are there are outsized scenarios, okay, that I see frequently, frequently that the company stock price is over five hundred dollars. Um, that is the, I would say that is the uh, common side of a very high stock price. Um, most companies that have powerful mastery over their company over their industry should be able to match should be able to get something along the, along those lines, okay. Like that, they're, they're doing very, very well for themselves. Now, have I seen higher than that? Yes. Is that, have, I, have I seen eight, nine hundred dollars? Have I seen over a thousand dollars? Yes. I've seen stock prices of over a thousand dollars, but those become very, very, very rare and only create scenarios of, okay, of extremely high net profit. In the end, it comes down to that net profit, okay? And if your net profit is, let's just say it's like in this, in this company's example, it's very, Typical for a winning company, okay? It's about $200,000. That's reasonably fair, okay, for this stage of the game. But to have net profit of six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars net profit, that, that comes down to the point that the competition is doing nothing um, or, 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 or you're playing against a bunch of computer companies, which, which, which happens occasionally. Basically, no one's fighting back. And that's why a company is able, okay, to gather that much net income because they're not, they're not facing any resistance. So they're able to go for that super high stock price. And no doubt, if you look, okay, at the you know top 50 or top 100 scoreboard, it's listed the weekly. Um, the stock, the play at the ask stock price, what well up that, that high area of eight, nine thousand dollars. And that's because they really have no competition. Not not because 
they did anything great is because the competition allowed them to have it. Um, so take it take it as you will. Is that is that if your company is sitting at two hundred and fifty dollars, three hundred dollars stock price, and everyone else was at a hundred bucks or lower, you've done great in your respective industry. Okay, and they and obviously that that competition has tried to to uh, to to bring to to uh, bring your company stock price down. Um, and the last question we have today is how to get your ROE up uh, in the business strategy game. So once again, ROE case based upon net income over shareholders equity. So net income, we've talked about this a lot of times, it's all about companies' cost savings, volume, margin on your product. Um, that, that relates to a lot of other factors. The, the other factor is now shareholders equity. So let's have as a point of interest, okay, uh, a look at the finance and cash flow screen. Now, in this case, our company uh, has bought back some shares, not a lot. As you can see, I am actually going to skip it for year 16. I will not buy back any shares in this particular circumstance. Um, is that uh, the company's equity level is 672.50. Now, I could hypothetically buy back 2,000 shares. Okay? I can buy it back. By, is that when you buy back the shares of your company, that money has to come out of somewhere. That money comes out of shareholders' equity, um, which is a component of equity. So therefore, is it is that is that uh, if you buy back the shares, your equity will therefore decrease. Okay, this is not the shares outstanding decreasing. This is the equity decreasing. The money that's being withdrawn from the company's bank account that has been that has, has been built up in retained earnings and now spent towards buying back shares and reducing the shareholders' equity. Okay, will will increase the ROA. So in this case, six seventy two fifty. Okay, is the uh, is the ending equity as a projection for year sixteen. I'm gonna go buy back the full amount, the, the one thousand nine sixty six. That company's, uh, this company's equity drops to below 100, which, by the way, uh, creates a whole other risk level, uh, which is, it's, it's very risky, okay? Um, is that the company's ROE goes up to 70% versus how it was before, okay, which is more like a nominal 35%, 35. So the company's ROE can go up, okay, by reducing the shareholders' equity. Now, once again, uh, net, net income is still king. The net income is not going up. It doesn't matter what, doesn't matter what the shareholders' equity is. Okay, is it is that is that um, it, it won't be that great uh, if 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 the net income is not going up. So therefore, net income once again is king. Is value probably I'd say seventy five percent of, of of bringing forward the care a strong ROE, and the other twenty five percent being the equity in this case. Um, yeah, so that's that's the top seven questions that is frequently asked on Google. Uh, of of uh, of how to see uh, on how to, to succeed in the business strategy game, um, we've covered well more or less the five scoring criteria, which which are all respectively quite important, and um, how to increase demand and, and how to have the best in the industry score. Uh, actually, there is one more thing I should also add, just because uh, it's almost it was almost missed. The company's image rating at K uh, is not a frequently asked question, but I'll throw it out there as a bonus question. Okay. So the company's image rating is based upon SQ rating, market share, and of course, corporate citizenship. Um, and that, that covers all five uh, core uh, key factors that, 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 that you're being scored on. All right, well, I, I hope that this video uh, has been very helpful. It has uh, streamlined, okay, some of the questions out there. Um, these are very, basic type questions, but they're often asked, and I just thought to go throw other, throw other video out there that uh, answered these, these questions specifically, okay? Thanks, bye.